Hi everyone and welcome to Learn A-Level Biology for Free with Miss Estrick. In this video we're going to be going through epigenetics from topic 8. So the first thing, epigenetics is one of the examples of gene expression. So what we mean by gene expression is when the DNA or a gene is expressed or in other words a protein is created. So gene expression includes transcription and translation. So in eukaryotic organisms, um, one way that gene expression or protein synthesis is controlled is epigenetics. And we're going to be looking at how epigenetics controls gene expression by either initiating or preventing transcription. So what we mean by epigenetics is it's a heritable change in the gene function, but the DNA base sequence is unchanged. So that would be part of your definition, telling you what epigenetics actually means. And when we say it's a change in gene function, we mean it is preventing gene expression. So these changes, we've said it's not due to a difference in the DNA base sequence. So it's not a mutation. Instead, these changes are caused by um, environment. And we're going to go through some factors throughout this session on which environmental factors can cause these changes. So some of the examples are your diet, if you're stressed, any toxins you might be exposed to, all of those can either add or remove certain chemicals, which we call chemical tags, onto your DNA or onto the histones that the DNA wraps around. And that single layer of chemical tags that everyone has around their DNA is called the epigenome. So it has no impact on the DNA base sequence. All it does is it affects the overall shape of the DNA. So it can affect whether the DNA is tightly coiled or whether the DNA is unraveled, which we can see here. And this tightly coiled um, DNA we call heterochromatin. The less tightly coiled DNA here, where you do have genes accessible to be transcribed, we call chromatin. So there's two key chemical tags that you need to know about, and you need to know whether they result in heterochromatin, so this tightly coiled DNA, or whether they result in chromatin, so the loosely coiled, which would result in transcription. So we're going to look at methylation first of all, and what that means is adding on a methyl group. And the methyl groups can only attach to the DNA itself. So methyl groups will attach to the DNA. It happens to be that they attach to the cytosine base, but that's actually more detail than you'd need to know for your exam. Now, if you have lots of methyl groups or increased methylation, this results in the DNA being, um, it isn't transcribed, so it inhibits transcription. And this bit here starts to go through why. So the reason it prevents transcription is because your DNA is so tightly coiled now, transcriptional factors can't bind and therefore you won't have the um, transcription occurring. So what's actually happening is the methyl group has got a positive charge, the DNA is negatively charged, so that actually causes the DNA and the methyl groups to attract and tightly coil together. So acetyl groups are the other type of chemical tag which could be added. And acetyl groups only bind to the histones. So they bind directly to the protein, the histones. And these have the opposite effect. So the acetyl groups are also negative, just like the DNA is. So they end up repelling each other. And that's why the DNA doesn't tightly coil. And instead it's far more loosely packed. And that leaves the DNA accessible for the transcriptional factors to bind and therefore transcription of that gene can occur. So just in summary then, heterochromatin is when the DNA is tightly coiled and transcription is inhibited and that's caused by increased methylation, decreased acetylation. Euchromatin or chromatin is when transcription will occur and it's caused by decreased methylation and increased acetylation. Now epigenetics is often linked to the development of cancer and there's two key ways. Now the first bit of information here is to do with the tumour suppressor genes. 
So tumor suppressor genes are the genes which code for a protein which can slow down cell division. So it regulates mitosis to make sure you're only producing new cells when you need them for growth or repair. Um, they can also cause a cell death if there is a copying error that has been detected. Now this first example is to do with mutations, which isn't linked to epigenetics, but it's just to point out the relevance of the tumor suppressor gene. So if you did have a mutation in the tumor suppressor gene, that would then result in a non-functioning protein, which wouldn't cause this, and that is linked to cancer. So two known examples of mutations in tumor suppressor genes are the BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene, which are linked to the development of breast cancer. Now, how this links to epigenetics is, still thinking about, first of all, the tumor suppressor gene. If you had hypermethylation, which is when lots of methyl groups are added to the tumor suppressor gene, that would cause it to tightly coil and therefore it'd be switched off. So you wouldn't have transcription, you wouldn't have any of that protein being made. So you are no longer controlling mitosis. You might have excess cell growth and division and therefore tumours could grow. You could also have the opposite, which is hypomethylation, which means you don't have enough methyl groups being added, so the gene results in being permanently switched on. And the oncogenes are the genes which will create a protein which triggers mitosis to occur. So if you constantly have that gene switched on, those proteins are always there, which means that mitosis always happens even when it's not needed. So this just goes through the importance of epigenetics. Um, we've gone through the chemical tags, what the definition is, and how it links to cancer. So I hope you have found that helpful today. If you have, head over to misestrick.com for some practice questions. Give it a thumbs up, and if you are new here, then make sure you click the subscribe button to keep up to date on all the latest videos. <laughs>